everybody. Welcome back to another session of The Hoppery. My name is Mark Starr and this week we're going to be taking a look at a, a brewery out of Michigan. Uh, they're called Dark Horse and you know I've had a couple beers from Dark Horse but I'm really excited to try the three that I've picked out for you this week. Uh, the first one that we're going to be looking at is their Cream Stout uh, and it's called Two. Now, this beer is a part of their Holiday Stout series. Uh, if you go on to their website, you can see you know, the list of all of the beers that they have. Um, and most of the stouts, well, they're all stouts. They're different styles of stouts. Um, they typically run from, I think, October to February. And what they do is they release a new beer every month. So um, you have, I think they have one, and then they have two, like, you know, spelled T-O-O. Uh, they have the Trace, which is the blueberry stout that I reviewed, um, and then they have four, F-O-R-E, uh, which we'll be taking a look at this week as well, uh, which is their smoke stout, and then also the Plead the Fifth, which is an imperial stout. So they've got, you know, quite a bit of stouts in their lineup. Um, one that we'll be taking a look at on Friday is uh, one of their reserve specials. Um, though it looks and drinks like a stout, it's actually an American strong ale. Uh, but it's one that I have had and really enjoyed and wanted to save that one for Friday uh, just because I remember that being a really good beer. So wanted to give you guys something to look forward to through the week. Now this too, as I said, is a cream stout. Uh, it clocks in right at about 8%. I'll hold that bottle up there just so you can see it. Um, but anyway, really anxious to try this one. You know, not too long ago we did a full week dedicated to cream stouts. Um, and I know that it's, you know, still kind of summer here in Kansas City. Uh, actually, the weather's been cooling off, though. It's been a little bit nicer here. So, um, you know, I think it's a little bit easier to drink some of these uh, lighter stouts. You know, my, my palate craves them all the time. Sometimes if it's too hot, um, I, just, I, I just don't have the... I guess the desire to drink you know some of those bigger stouts but anyway again this one clocks in at eight percent and let's go ahead and see what it smells like really interesting nose I'm getting a lot of earthiness um, there's also like the feeling of being in a like a dark moist cave I can definitely smell the malts in this one. You know, like the dark roasted malts. Right around the edges, uh, I get a little bit of the vanilla, uh, which is from the lactose milk sugar uh, that's used to brew these styles of beers. Um, also get a little bit of blueberry. It really kind of reminds me of the Trace. Um, you know, and that's why I remember when I reviewed the Trace, I remember thinking that the only reason I could smell the blueberries was because they called it out on the label. But I also remember saying, you know, I could smell blueberries, but I didn't feel like they added blueberries to it. And I kind of get that same feeling from this one, where I get the aroma of blueberries. Um, but anyway, it's really nice. Definitely, you know, a lot of chocolate in there as well. Um, and I'm thinking more of like a bittersweet chocolate, so it's not going to smell you know, real sweet, but it's got more of a, I guess, a dark roasted chocolate um, component in there. Well, anyway, let's go ahead and see how it tastes. It smells good. Interesting. It's very, for a stout, it's, it's coming across really thin on my palate. Um, it's not sweet hardly at all. In fact, it's mainly bitter. I am getting a lot of chocolate though. I'm getting a lot of the uh, roasted malt characters in it. Uh, there's a little bit of, uh, believe it or not, uh, you know when you take corn on the cob and you cut it off and take like a, a cast iron skillet and char that corn in that cast iron skillet, it gives it like a chewy character when you, you know, uh, when you eat that type of corn. Um, I kind of get that taste. It, it's like a charred corn on the cob or Better yet, let's just say you threw, um, you know, a whole corn on the cob on the grill, and you know when it starts to turn black because you haven't turned it enough? I get that out of here. There's, a, you know, definitely some molasses in there, which is coming from those malts. 
um, you know, maybe a touch of coffee, but really kind of an interesting beer. I, I think the, the thing that's, I guess, throwing me off here is how thin it is on the palate. Um, I would have hoped at 8% that it might be a little bit more, um, maybe a touch more sweet. Um, I'm not saying that I don't like it because it's not sweet. Um, I know that mainly when you try milk stouts, that's kind of what they're known for is being a little bit sweet. Um, you know, right on the back end as it goes down, it really reminds me of this type of lettuce called frise. Um, it, you know, when you go and you buy the spring mix, it's the one that looks like a like an old creepy tree that's like a almost white color, but maybe just a little bit of light green in there. Um, it's got this, you know, Frise has got this really interesting bitterness. It's almost so bitter that if it wasn't mixed in with the other greens and maybe some salad dressing, it, it might be a little off-putting. But that's, you know, that's, that's really how much, um, you know, bitterness I'm getting from this glass. So all in all, you know, not my favorite cream stout I've had. Uh, not a bad effort either. So, um, well, guys, I guess I'll go ahead and end it for now. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to review uh, all three of these beers uh, tonight. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and shut off the camera and uh, kind of work my way through the rest of this bottle. And then we'll come back a little bit later and we'll do the four, which is their smoked stout. So anyway... Uh, let me know what your favorite Dark Horse beer is. I'd kind of like to know your thoughts. You know, is it one of their IPAs? Is it one of their stouts? Uh, how many of these stouts of theirs have you had? Just kind of, I guess, share with me uh, your thoughts on the brewery. And uh, we'll go ahead and continue to rip through this week. All right, guys? Well, my name is Mark Starr, and we'll see you later. Cheers.